Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Techno Blow. With me is Maurice John and I'm Evan Wilkins. So today we're going to talk about the infamous flow service <laughs> provider. <laughs> it's going to be a good one. Stay tuned. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> So guys, to the telecommunications company and internet service provider here in St. Vincent. Um, we're going to just share some of our thoughts, experiences, and some of you guys' experiences and comments that you've left on various social media. Yep. Alright, so I think this is going to be another episode of Good Cop, Bad Cop. Um, event is the usual Good Cop, it seems. <laughs> it's personal. <laughs> so, we're talking flow and um, it appears that there are some troubles in the good land of St. Vincent and the Grenadines when it comes to our internet. Yeah. Our internet, yeah. So, um, I, I, I'm in the minority there though. Yes, it seems like he has perfect internet. Like, I don't know how many people <laughs> can testify to having perfect internet. Um, so, let's do some backstory here. Who is Flo? Well, we got, we got to start from way back when, when it was just carried cable and cable and wireless. Right. So we had cable and wireless, the company that provided um, our internet and selling that stuff. And then we had a competitor, which was carried cable. Which only provided um, cable service. Cable service, which then provided internet. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, digital came and they rebranded to Flow, right. to Lime, sorry, and then they bought... No, then Carib Cable was bought out by Columbus Communications, right. aka Flow. AKA Flow. Mm -hmm. And then Flow and Lime merged. And they dropped the Lime name and went with Flow. Yeah. All right, so backstory completed. Backstory completed. So we have two separate ends of the spectrum. My dear friend here was an original Car flow Car cable. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, Car cable. He sat well. He was an early adopter of Car cable. Myself, we were a um, flow flow um, customers. So we always had our internet from from line. From line. Okay, there we go. Right. Yes, yeah, so line from both car yeah, cable from, from <laughs> inception. Right. So now that you have the backstory <laughs> clear, let's go on. So what has happened since flow and line merged? Well for me, nothing has changed. <laughs> Which is strange. Which is strange. Which is pretty strange. I'm very much in the minority here. Uh, so he has perfect internet. Is you have consistent speed? Consistent as far as I know, yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Um I could say that before the merger I had a three meg connection. It was slow but it was consistent and my only problems with it was that it was slow. But I could have connected my internet. Mm -hmm. Um it wasn't disconnected every minute. I was satisfied that I was getting what I paid for. I signed up for three megs, getting my good three megs, and I'm getting it consistently. Happy customer. Happy customer. That's right. Ish. <laughs> was a bit kind of jealous mm -hmm. with you guys, your fiber <laughs> to your door, when I'm carrying yeah. cable, then convert to flow. They started introducing some really sweet packages, 25 megs, and I felt like we were behind. Yeah, you, yeah, you were behind. Yeah. Yeah. You guys were still using. Um, we were using. Dial technology? No. <laughs> <Don't. laughs> Come on. It's not that bad. Not that bad. Yeah. So, uh, when, the, when the merger happened, we upgraded to a 25 meg package. Mm -hmm. And as a tech person, I'm like, yo, awesome. Um, we needed that, especially we have a 25 meg in the office and a 25 meg at home. And then. Problems, 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 problems. Connect just connecting to the network is a problem. Even will tell you when he came to the office every time, every time, just to get devices onto the network. Sometimes I have to come off of the network 
may take my laptop and my phone off the network so he could get on to the network. Or I could just wait the 10 minutes and uh, It's like, it's <laughs> frustrating. Get on. Yeah. So, like, the first thing, the first barrier to my internet was just simply connected to the Wi-Fi, which is quite strange. Quite strange. Very strange. The second <clears throat> issue that I have... Consistency. Consistency. Um, is, is really, especially on, at home, if I want to enjoy my internet, I have to wait until 12 o'clock to enjoy my internet. 12 a.m. or 12 p.m.? 12 in the night. Wow. Like, when nobody is on the internet, then I could say I could enjoy my internet. Which is not the best thing. It's not the best experience. Uh, it, you can book it show that some point in the day, your devices will get disconnected from the internet. It's every single day. You see the internet just drop out and give it five, ten minutes, then it comes back in. Now, if you're running a business that is reliant on always connected internet, you're going to have problems. Yeah. yeah, the situation is pretty dire for persons who depend on the internet and for persons who study online. Um, Mm. Online selling is a big thing here in the at the moment. A lot of persons really depend on the internet to do their work or to study. And for Flo to be this inconsistent, it's really troubling. And it's something that they really need to address and take it a lot more serious. Yeah. And for customers, we're not seeing any urgency in what they're doing. Mm -hmm. It's just the same old khaki pants every day, you know? Now, what I would want to say though, this presents an opportunity for digital again. I know, I'm sure that Digital was quite scared when Flo and Lime merged. But you get in a situation where, yes, they merged and became this mega company, but if customers are not satisfied, there's a, a, a kind of a hole in the market that can be filled and you say, okay, we could provide you with proper, consistent internet. So I don't know, I, I'm hearing that they're going to introduce home internet packages. We'll see if they could disrupt that portion of the market again, like they did when they just came to St. Vincent. So we'll see if the digital capitalizes on the missteps of flow. Yeah. All right, guys. So um, just to share some of what other people are saying, I've, I went on to the flow Facebook page looking for comments, you know, mm -hmm. and I'm find, I find some pretty interesting things here. So I'm just going to share some of them with you guys. Uh, one customer here, it will show up on screen. He showed his what's it, screenshot speed of his speed. Uh, he's paying for 25 megs, he's getting 0.75 downloads, which is terrible. Wait, no, that's where we are. Less than a meg. That's less than a meg. That's very bad. That's very bad. bad. 1.3 upload, mm -hmm. and a ping of 167. That's ridiculous. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine I'm supposed to get the Mardi Gras on Flow TV today. Not surprised, nothing. Flow is real bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Bleep. <laughs> they really need competition. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. There, Flow. You have 14 hours from the time of this post to come remove oh the garbage you left at your home today. Oh. If you fail to come to remove it, I am disposing of it. Oh my, my personal God. space is not your personal junkyard to store malfunctioning equipment. Come get your garbage. Oh my God. That's, that's terrible. <laughs> that's, that, yeah. that, that's not good. It's a serious situation, but the comments are pretty funny. But um, Flo, Flo really got to do something better. Yeah. yeah. Uh, guys, if you, you could just share your screenshots of your test feed with us. Mm -hmm. um, let, let's see how much you, you get in consistent internet, how much you get in very poor, sucky internet. Alright, so this has been another episode of Techno Blub. Thank you for coming along with us on this flow adventure. <laughs> uh, hopefully we'll have a video for you next week. And my awesome co-host who is turning into the good cop will be back with us <laughs> next yeah. week. Don't forget to like our page and continue to follow us. All right. Have a good day.